Hey, hey, Share Club. Good, happy Tuesday evening. I almost said Monday. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I've been at home with kids all day, so it seems like it should be Friday, but it's not. So <clears throat> I hope you've all had a lovely start to your week. Hopefully 2018 is going good for you guys. Um, I know it is here. We're just really enjoying um, a fresh start to the year. So fun, right? Okay. I won't keep you for long. I just want to get on here and address why we are all here, which is to know what essential oils are, right? I mean, that's the whole premise of this thing. Hey, Ashley. Um, <clears throat> so let's briefly cover what the heck these things are because a lot of people, um, and myself included, when I first started using them, thought they just made my house smell good, which they do, um, but there are so many other benefits to them. So. Let's cover that, um, the real meat and potatoes while you're here. Hey, Candy. Hey, Ashley. Um, okay, so what are essential oils? Um, they are plants in a bottle. Simply put, plant therapy. Um, a lot of people use them medicinally, um, and we'll kind of cover that in tonight and throughout this month um, of how they can be used that way. Uh, but technically, they're just the aromatic compounds within a plant so you can get them from the seeds you can get them from bark stems leaves roots flowers um, they circulate throughout the plant so they're just the plants circulation so they kind of move in and about the plant throughout the day and it's just the lifeblood of the plant uh, so it functions as the plant's immune system. They function to ward off predators and disease. Uh, they fight infections. They do optimal nutrient absorption. So they're just what keeps the plant alive. It's like our blood in our body. Um, so that is what essential oils are. They're the main active component of plants. And how long have they been around? Uh, since creation, like God put plants on this earth so that we can use them to feed ourselves and take care of ourselves and it's how people used to do those things before we invented western medicine and synthetic foods and things like that so um, they've been around since the earth's creation and then these little compounds are hidden in plants um, so people have been using them a long time like i said medicinally um, of course, they look a lot different in today's fancy world, right? We're not going around eating plants, well, sometimes we do, uh, to help our bodies cure themselves or anything like that. We now get them packaged to us in this nice, lovely bottle so we don't have to eat plants and roots and all those dirty things, right? Um, so it's kind of nice that we have this little compact, <laughs> active part of the plant in a bottle. Um, and so <clears throat> they get these little the plant circulation out of the plant through um, either a steam distillation or a cold press distillation. And we'll talk about that a little bit um, when I talk about Young Living's process of how they create these oils on a different night. But um, they uh, are used <laughs> medicinally, and like I said, so in fact, most of the pharmaceuticals that exist on today's market use plants as their main active ingredient, which is super cool when you think about it. Um, whether that's it's a synthetically made plant or whether that is um, a plant from nature, that's to be determined as far as pharmaceuticals go. But the premise of the active part of that pharmaceutical is plant-based. So it makes a whole lot of sense when you think about it that way, how these plants can be used medicinally. Um, what makes them so powerful? Um, the most powerful part of the plant, that lifeblood that we were talking about, is carefully extracted, like we just said, um, through a low temperature, low pressure steam distillation. Because when you, anytime you introduce extreme temperatures into um, an essential oil, it can just diminish the effects of that essential oil. Um, also, when you expose it to extreme pressures. So higher pressure specifically, it can destroy the actual therapeutic parts of that oil. So they want to make sure that it's a low pressure, um, low temperature steam distillation. And Young Living's founder actually learned these techniques over in France where they've been distilling essential oils for a very long time. Um, and he brought kind of those mechanisms back to the United States. And Young Living's been producing essential oils for the last 26 years, it's really crazy. Um, so we have some of the best technology over from France um, and principles here to get our oils out of plants. 
Um, okay, so um, when an oil is treated gingerly like this through this distillation process, it ensures that the oils are pure, um, and it ensures that they're very, very, very potent and powerful. Um, more powerful than the actual plant they were extracted from because they're in a concentrated form. Um, so essential oils afford us the complete chemical profile of that plant um, in each drop, but you can get a very, very profound therapeutic effect through one drop. These oils are very, very, very potent. Um, and so we'll talk a lot about safety on here too. Essential oils are very, very safe if they're used with common sense because they are super potent. So we'll cover a lot of that here. This is why education is key. Um, so for instance, a lot of people deem them herbal therapy and they are to a certain degree, but they're a lot more powerful than herbal therapy. Uh, and so they say one drop of peppermint um, essential oil is equivalent to 40 cups of tincture tea. That is a lot of power. Um, so just use them respectfully, which is what I'm going to teach you how to do. Okay, so how do they work? Um, once distilled, you get what's called a chemical constituent. It's just a fancy name for a molecule that exists, and the constituent name kind of identifies how it works within the body itself. Um, almost all essential oils have a very similar composition to the cells um, found in our body. Uh, they're surrounded by a fat layer. Our cells are surrounded by a fat layer, so our body views them as a welcome. They're not considered foreign. And so um, that allows these essential oils to readily be used by our body and our tissues, which is cool. Um, it's not just some foreign particle that gets dumped. You know all those vitamins and stuff we buy? Um, that are There are bioavailable vitamins, so not all of them are this way, but a lot of vitamins are not what we call bio bioavailable, which means they're just expensive pee. Like you take them and their body goes, I don't know what you are, peace out, you're out of here. Um, and so our body doesn't use it. Uh, but essential oils are not like that because our body recognizes them and they say, hey, you over here, I know exactly what to do with you. So it's really, really cool that way. Um, and they move uh, quickly through our cells and our tissues and um, our bloodstream. Um, and they work in our own God-given glands and systems to create a balance. Um, and so I'll kind of mention this on here when we specifically talk about this oil um, but you can treat either side of the spectrum in a system to rebalance that system. So if you're on the, if you're on the potty too much one day <laughs> and your, your tummy is just not having a good day, um, use a certain oil. If you haven't been on the potty in a very long time, I hope y'all are getting what I'm saying. Sorry, I have to be so cryptic. If you have not been on the potty in a long time and you need to be on the potty, use the same oil you use to address being on potty too much. So it just brings a balance back into your system. Okay, um, how do they actually work? My family is a huge testament to how they work and I have just, essential oils have blown my mind um, about how they have radically <laughs> done things in our family that I can't talk about on here. It's insane, y'all. Um, so even my husband, who used to call me a witch doctor and all kinds of fun stuff, is now a, a oil, essential oil user. He's in the closet most of the time, but he does use essential oils and he does ask for them. So that's super cool. Um, and I'm really just really thankful I have a natural alternative to reach for first um, in times of trials. Um, and I just love having them in my arsenal for that reason. They're my first go-to when something's going awry. Um, and it's neat because I always start with an essential oil first and if I need to move on to an over-the-counter medication or a pharmaceutical, I can totally do that. Because remember I said I'm not an extremist. I still believe in the power of Western medicine and sometimes I still use Western medicine. So um, they're not only used in times of need, they're also used to kind of just make our bodies well to where we don't need all the junk <laughs> that we used to need. Um, so they really, really just boost our general wellness, uh, which is neat because that is the preventative side that we all want to really focus on, right? Um, so it's great that essential oils can provide that. 
and there's really over hundreds of clinical trials going on all around the world um, to try and improve essential oil effectiveness, especially being used topically and internally, because those are the least researched modes of application. Aromatherapy has been studied since the 70s, so they have a lot of clinical research there, but now they're just pioneering their way through topical application and drinking or eating essential oils. So we should see some more cool stuff come out about that fairly soon. Um, if you're interested in clinical trials, let me know. I'm totally a research nerd, and I can point you to where I follow up with all that stuff. Uh, but they're really studying them with vi vi viruses, bacteria, um, vi fungus, cancer, ADHD, ADD, all kinds of stuff. Um, so, yeah, they address these mechanisms at the cellular level, which is really cool because you're not just putting a Band-Aid on something. It actually starts to work at the cellular level um, to kind of help with some of these issues. So super neat. Um, so what can they help you with? <laughs> That's the question, right? Um, so inspire just a more positive state, like an emotional state. They work great for stress, um, psychological disorders, depression. They're really, really great for your mind. Uh, just learning disabilities, focus, anything that is going on with the mind, they are very, very beneficial for. Um, they promote body system balance, like we talked about, and general wellness. Um, they help can they can really help boost your immune system, which is super key, especially during the winter. And so make sure you have your arsenal ready to go for a winter gamut, winter get in or whatever people call it. Um, they can aid in the removal of toxins from the body and increases your ability ability to absorb nutrients. Uh, they can aid in purifying your home. They work to balance your digestive system because everything ties back to the gut. <laughs> and the gut, even almost more so than the brain, is the gateway to the body. So um, the gut is very, very super important, and we should treat our guts well, and essential oils can help in that journey. Uh, sleep, energy, focus, skin, hair health. Um, skin is one of my biggest personal testimonies. It has radically changed my skin, essential oils have. Um, so I'm really, really thankful for them for that reason. Um, they're a natural alternative to harsh chemical cleaners. Uh, and because you will be, like we talked about last night, Think Dirty will like change your life when you start scanning the products you're using in your home because scary. Um, they help repel pesky insects and bugs. So if you live in Texas in the summer, you need essential oils um, because they don't have any of that deep fun in them. They're just plants and they are really good at helping with insects. So they just keep us above the wellness line and they provide a wonderful, natural, safe, non-toxic alternative um, to a lot of chemicals that we have in our life, especially in the United States. It's insane, you guys, how many <laughs> toxins we're exposed to um, on a daily basis. It really is scary. Uh, and just this long-term exposure we're seeing is related to a lot of our chronic disease and illness that we're seeing kind of pop up in the United States. So just really kind of start thinking about that, if anything, in this class. Uh, just to kind of get your mind flowing about some of the things that um, are present in your life. And I definitely am not made a change overnight. I am still making changes, and I've been trying to do this for four years. It is a gradual, progressive process. And just do what you can. Um, and I just do what I can on the daily. And that's it. Um, you can't live in a bubble, right? Although I would love to live in a bubble, me being an introvert <laughs> and... Um, scared of germs. I would love to live in a bubble, but it's just not realistic. And so I try and do things in my home that I can and call it a day and feel really good about it. So whatever you can do, even if it's just throwing out a dryer sheet, whatever you can do is just a step in the right direction. So I have countless personal testimonies I would love to tell you about. If you ever want to talk to me on the phone, I could probably talk your ears off for hours, but um, I can't mention those on here. Uh, just know that they really have changed my life. And um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about just the basic of this, what an essential oil is. We'll cover more in depth what specific ones do. And we'll also cover tomorrow night at 8 p.m. how to apply them, which is really key. There's three ways to apply them. Um, and so be sure and jump on here for that. If not, you can watch the replay, of course. And tomorrow night I'll also kind of be covering what came in your little Happy Meal. So that sounded like a Happy Meal, not, not a Happy Meal happy mail. Um, so what's coming in your essential oil packages, I'll cover that tomorrow night super quickly too, just so you can know kind of the mechanisms of function behind those and how to apply them. 
and that we are using them and having so much fun with them because um, that's the best way to, to kind of experience essential oils to try them out for yourself. So I'm excited to see what you guys think about your products. Hopefully you will get them tomorrow in the mail. Um, let me know if you do. I'm super excited to hear. And then tomorrow night we'll cover what the uh, specific items you get are at 8 p.m. Let me read super comments. Too much stress right now, I know, right, Katie? Um, it is insane how much stress is present in our worlds today. Um, I literally drink bottles of stress away because, uh, you know, just daily life stressors. So they are super great for stress. Um, oh, Louisiana bar. Oh, no, friend. Um, that is a tough, tough season of life to walk through studying for that thing. Holy moly. Um, my sister, my husband's sister took the bar about a year ago and it was insane. She took the one in California, but, um, yeah, so good luck with that. I also use some study aid oils. They're really awesome for that too. So marking that down for you get you some study stuff going. Um, oh yeah. Candy, you did the think dirty app. Mm. <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? Um, so yeah. I have a fun little story. So when I first started using the Think Dirty app, I scanned everything in my home and a lot of stuff was not great. There were some things that were fine, um, but anything above a six, I just wanted to throw into a bucket, six to 10 on the toxic scale, which is the most toxic is 10. Um, I wanted to throw it in a bucket. I had this huge Tupperware ready to go to the trash and my husband came home and he was like, what in the heck are you doing with all that stuff in that Tupperware? And I was like, it's out of here. Trash, done, mm, not using it anymore. And he put his foot down and was like, that's like $1,000 worth of stuff that you're trying to throw out. Um, let's just go through it, use it. You've been using it for 35 years. It's not going to change anything immediately. And I was like, yes, it is. It has to stop right now. I'm not using it anymore. I've been using it too long. Uh, but he won, put everything back, and he went through it, and I just started gradually replacing stuff because you're right, it is kind of scary what is in our home. So as you run out, try and replace um, with a safer alternative. Um, if you can, if not, that's okay. Um, yeah, this is not meant to make anyone feel like they need to ditch everything out of their house just to be more aware of what you're doing. Uh, yeah, so Think Dirty app, giving nightmares at night. Sorry about that, but... I'm trying to spread the educational wealth to look into the things in your home. So, yes. Um, yeah. Okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Thanks for jumping on here live, the ones that did. And hopefully everyone gets a chance to catch up with this. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow at 8 p.m. Um, let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like to see, like Katie with study aids or anything like that. So, um, I can definitely help with specific areas if you let me know what's going on. So I have your surveys and I will be focusing on each of those areas for you guys. Um, but let me know if there's anything specific that comes up that you'd like help with and I can totally work that in. And I hope you all have a lovely evening. Um, okay. I will see you back here tomorrow night. Bye.